This painting seems to have never been taken off its original stretcher. It has that extra piece of fabric that Turner wanted on there, still intact. Um, the canvas is amazingly preserved. There, it shows no sign of real degradation. And so what we're looking at is, is very much, um, very close to the way the painting originally looked. And that is always the, the aim of a conservator is to present paintings in, uh, as closely as possible to the way they and what we're looking for is any information that we can gain by examining this painting that can add to the general scholarship of Turner as an artist, how he worked. I get the pleasure of photographing most of the paintings uh, in the collection. I do a high resolution scan. Pictures are used for publications, uh, web use, uh, you name it, they go everywhere. Reproductions of the painting in the white light, high resolution allows the conservators and uh, uh, scholars to, to look at the painting in a much higher magnification than they could even standing in the gallery right next to it. Uh, we can look at small little areas uh, from the scan, uh, move all over the painting, and, and look at every little detail, every little crack, every little brush stroke, basically. And the curators find that very, very exciting. The conservators like to uh, use the ultraviolet uh, light technique to find out what previous restorations were, uh, retouching, losses, and we also shoot under infrared light, which uh, helps us look just slightly below the surface to see if there's any changes in the paint or uh, underdrawings and things like that. The, the idea is to do the highest quality reproduction of the painting so they can be used for everything. I think this picture by Turner is a surprise to people. I think it, it hasn't been seen in public in a long time. It's been lent to various exhibitions, but it's been owned by two people in the past. Um, and as a result, it is the picture against which all other Turners have to be measured in terms of condition. It is virtually the same condition as it was when it left Turner's hand in 1839. This Turner is a great addition to what I call the Greater Museum of Los Angeles, which includes all the public institutions here. Because of the acquisition of this Turner by the Getty, the Los Angeles Greater Museum now has more pictures than any museum in America outside of Yale or outside of the National Gallery in Washington. The moon and the sun are both present in this picture. The, the, bot, the orb in the middle of the sky is not the sun, it is in fact the moon, and it is based on a line of Byron's poem, which talks about the moon and the sun coexisting in the sky at the same moment. So this has the silvery light of the moon plus the golden light of the sun coming in from the right. Um, and as such, it is typical of, of Turner, who is particularly interested in light and color, to present this kind of fantasy vision of Rome as a memory, and the last and final memory that he had of Rome, um, and produced in a painting. This memory, this vision that he had, of Rome in, these, in this sea of kind of opalescent color, of these pale pinks, purples, lavenders, and blues, um, that it will provide a kind of dream for the public um, who perhaps remember having been to Rome, but will see Rome in a very different kind of romantic mood.